Signore, Signorita, buenos dias, and welcome to Ziggy's Cactus House. Now today, we've got this lovely cow's tongue apuntia, or apuntia linguiformis, I believe it says. Yep, we've got that right. Uh, I've had this um, year, or maybe two years, I'm not sure. Uh, when it started off, um, this part of the pad was quite dead and it stayed looking quite dead for a, a year or so and then suddenly earlier this year it sprouted this lovely new pad on the side I thought oh great it's picking up I'll be able to take that off as a cutting and then um, maybe the the old plant will grow some new ones no it's not doing that is it it's taken all the nutrient out I'll put a, an older picture up um, this was the part that was um, dying back when I got it and you can just about see where the um, the green the chlorophyll was this year and it sucked all of that out to make the new pad so it makes me think there might be a problem with the roots now um, it's got a few signs of mealybugs on there which I had to go at yesterday um, so what I want to do I want to get it out of the pot today and we can have a look at the roots and if there's a problem like if it's lost the roots whatever um, I'll need to clean it off and put fresh compost on if there's not a problem and it's just been awkward then i'm just going to repot it into this bigger pot and i'm going to bury this part of the pad a bit more so if it wants to it can make new roots off of this part which um will solve the problem but uh, right now i'm a bit worried about um all the nutrient going out of this bit this bit dying off and this not having any roots so uh, we need to sort that out so uh, i'll try and do it do this without making too much noise for the microphone um uh, it will make a bit of a noise on here, excuse me. Well, that's the worst bit over. Um, ooh, it's not actually put out any new growth since I put it in there. I'll put a very gritty mix on that one, maybe it didn't like it. Uh, let's clean the roots off a little bit. Let's get my pokey stick. Available in all good pokey stores. And, um, if there's any problem like root mealy bugs on there and you really do need to have a good poke around with this so bear with me just, uh, I'm, I'm pleased that it had the new growth in the first place because uh, a bit of the old label in there because um, didn't, I didn't hold out much hope when I first got it I thought it was just dying off so, uh, very pleased to see a new growth new growth on that Normally you'd put gloves on to deal with a punchy like this, but uh, I didn't have any handy today and I needed my hands to do the bits and pieces, so I'm just going to have to put up for I'll get any glockies put up with it. And so far so good. It's nice and dry, which is good at this time of year. And I'm not seeing I'm going to have to use my hands now getting as much as I can of the old um, compost stuff which uh, seems to be uh, slightly peat based originally no, there's no sign of any uh, root mealies on it and let's just turn it round again check the other side because they do hide no, all good. So that's, that's brilliant. So uh, this one I've already put some crocs in the bottom, and I've got a very gritty compost again here. So uh, I'm going to estimate how much to put in there. He says trying not to make too much noise with the microphone. It's one thing or another with these microphones. There's either too much noise or not enough. Now yeah, that's fine. And I've got him quite low in the pot. I think I actually want to get him a bit lower than that. So we'll pick up on the new pad that's grown out. Yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult to do. Maybe I should have got a wider pot. No, I think I might be able to just manage that. Uh, as long as it's uh, touching the compost and it knows that there's some compost there. Even if it means heaping it up a little bit round it, but, uh, 
that should do. A punch is a very, very good at putting out roots. Um, if they touch the soil, growing sideways, they'll root, root themselves. So uh, hopefully this will do that next year. It won't do it this side of Christmas. There we go. That's good on that side. He's sat nice and firm, firmly down there. Just match up the other side. Bring it up to the top. It will look a bit odd without top dressing because all the others are top dressed in here. But uh, it's getting it to root. That's the main thing. So uh, that's fine. Give it a little shake. That's great. So uh, there we have it. So he's uh, just touching there and like I say if I put a little bit of extra compost on that side it's not going to hurt so I'll wait till I put the pot in its uh, place that it's going to be for the winter. So um, there we have it, one reasonably new bit of growth, reasonable new bit of growth on the uh, Apuntia linguiformis or cow's tongue Apuntia. Thank you all for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.